in today's video we're going to be doing a DIY schlank saddle um so yeah let's just get straight on to the video I made a cut up piece of um drink can some scissors um piece of wire some pliers some wire cutters now if you don't have these you can just use really sharp scissors or really strong scissors or card. I'm going to show you with card because that's the hardest to work with. Um, the horse you're going to put the saddle on just for measurements. Sharpie um, for drawing on the like drink can thing and a by way to draw on the card since I don't know why it just shows up a bit more. I'm going to need some hot glue but my one's just heating up so we can't really see that. So you're going to draw a rough saddle tree shape. Um, I did it on the back just in case they mess up. I have a, another chance by doing it on the front. Then we're going to cut it out. We are going to cut it out and it should look something like this. Then you're going to glue it down to whatever material you're using. Then what you need to do is just cut around all the edges. And um, what I've done is I've cut two um, little tabs here and here. Um, so all you need to do is cut um, all around the edges, just leaving a bit there, and then cut two little tabs right there. Then you're going to cut little tabs all around the edges. It should look like this. Then you're going to glue them all down to the metal. I suggest doing these one at a time, otherwise it could get stuck and other problems could happen. Once you have glued all the tabs down on your material, it should look a bit like this. It looks a bit messy on the back, but it will be fine. Sometimes I bend it around my finger just to get the right shape of the saddle. Then you're going to cut two saddle flaps. Then you glue them onto the saddle tree. If it's a little bit uneven, don't worry. Just double check that the saddle is still bent. Now this is kind of hard to explain, but you're just going to make an outline on the tin of here, do the lift up here and here, and then you're just gonna join it together. When you cut it out, it should look a little something like this, like almost a boomerang or banana sort of shape. Then you are going to like almost fill it with glue. Then repeat that. Then, just like the saddle tree, you're going to trace around it and then leave some bits so you can have tabs. Then you just cut the tabs. Then glue down all the tabs. Um, it might be a bit neater, it might be a bit messier, but um, as long as it looks along the lines of this, it's good. Yes, it looks very messy on the back, but um, that's okay. That's just going to be glued to the saddle, so you won't see that at all. Um, and then of course you're going to repeat it. Okay, so this is two of them. And um, they may not look identical, but this is all going on the bottom of the saddle. So it's not too much. Don't worry if there's not too much detail in it. As you can see, it's just really rough. So then you're just going to glue it there for like a little saddle pillow. Then you're going to take your saddle and almost make like a saddle flap. Um, I mean, there's like a little thing that goes here. Um, so just get your card and try to take the measurements out. Take a small piece of your material and just fold it in half, like this. And then draw on a little shape like this so it can be like your saddle flap. Then just glue it on so you have sort of like syrup um, flaps, is that what call them? Stirrup flaps. That's the main part of our saddle done. So now we're making the stirrups. Take your pliers and make a tiny little hook at the end of the wire. It should end up looking a bit like this. So then you just want to make the actual stirrup. Make sure it's the size of your rider's foot. It doesn't actually have to look too good, just um, a rough stirrup shape. Um, so what you need to do now is if you can see, I'm sorry if my hands are fine. Need to bend this bit over into the hook. That doesn't really fall out. 
I'm trying really hard not to get my hands in the way. But like I said earlier, it doesn't really matter if um, it's too messy. Because once it's in the hook, it's nice and secure. And yeah, you don't, and you can just really do whatever you like with it. And just push down the top and bottom bit till it's flat. And repeat that. And cut off a thin strip of whatever material you're using. And you need to cut it in half. Then just cut out some really, really, really small strips. Then just thread the syrup iron through the stirrup leather. This bit's quite tricky, but um, you get used to it. So you're going to glue down the bottom bit, but just leave this bit unglued. Should look like this, pretty good. And um, then glue one of those small parts of paper I showed you earlier down so this bit here stays. Once you are done, it should look a little something like this. Then of course, I feel like I've said this a million times, but you're going to repeat on the other side. So then it should look something like this. So these stirrups are adjustable, so any riders could have them. And um, I like the little saddle flaps where you can actually adjust them, it's even more realistic. But we're not done yet, we've still got to do a girth, but it's quite quick, so. So you're just going to cut a hand in half. Then what you're going to do is measure it around the horse's belly. So start where the girth should roughly start and then curve it round um, to see how long it is. It should be a tiny bit shorter than it usually is because hair bands are less complicated and we don't want it to be loose. Once you're done, it should look like this. Then simply just glue the hair band to where you want it to be. So it's just a bit like a rainbow over the top. Make sure that it's really, really secure. I think this looks really good and I love the fact that um, the stirrups are adjustable and um, I also love the little saddle flaps, I think they're really cute. Um, but first, um, you don't really have to but you can choose um, a different colour of the material you're using or you can change the material completely and um, we should make a saddle pad. So what you're going to do is just faintly draw a line of how big you want the saddle pad to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.